What is up guys, my name is Mark Midori, otherwise known as the Prince of Darkest. And as we know it, Bakugan seems to be changing. Based off leaks we've seen, we are getting Beyblade looking Bakugan, opposed to the typical ball looking Bakugan we've seen. Um, side note, excuse what I look like, I was busy with other stuff. Um, and out of absolutely nowhere, uh, I get a notification from the Bakugan subreddit that a user by the name of Toxic Omega they have made a basically a dueling simulator for Bakugan and I think this works better than any other dueling simulator I think I've seen. Um, there were a couple early projects to try and make a digital Bakugan brawling thing, um, especially in the beginning of the whole pandemic, which was okay, but it could have been done better. We all know this. We've all seen this, and I saw this post that they made, and I immediately jumped at it because I looked at the the thing they made, the the, the deck builder they made, and how it works, and it is actually genuinely really good. Um, let me just go on to Reddit, and I'll explain in a second. Okay, so here we are on Reddit. Um, I don't quite know how this video is going to look. I'm doing this very rushed because I want to get this out because this is big this is good um you know despite the fact that the game is going to be redone entirely this is a perfect way for you to relive or enjoy bakugan online if you never got to get a hold of the cards in the past five years like me i got very limited cards so uh yeah toxic omega as you can see here this was posted two hours ago um i did try to get this recorded earlier but some stuff came up so i had to do it like now um yeah you can see the time here in the bottom corner <laughs> so uh, they were working on this for about a month, and the, I saw this, and the fact they did this in about a month by themselves is amazing. I, I could not have done anything like this, and this guy is just, guy or gal, I don't know what you are, amazing from what I saw. Um, so it's, it's a substitute of the 40-card deck in the Pro TCG, uh, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. yeah, so I, you can see here I knew said that I'm going to make a video about this, that was two hours ago because stuff came up. Um, let's actually take a look at it. I have the tab open over here, and I actually made a deck already for this video because I have existing deck lists I used in um, servers online, uh, Discord servers, by the way, for some local, not local, but just online tournaments we did for fun. And some of the servers I'm on, we're taking into substituting cards with proxy cards, just because they're not printing any more cards and we're not getting any more cards. That's just along the short of it. It's a sad reality of it. It sucks and I don't like using proxies, but that looks like that's where we're going to have to go. And this looks like it's the best way to do it, I honestly think. With Discord and being able to screen share and have someone verify the card you have on screen and as a judge, I think that's really cool. So they give a whole explanation here as to what the website here is and what it does. Um, basically, it's just to emulate deck building, to, to emulate the playing. Of course, they can't exactly emulate what the other player is going to do. I, I don't think they can do that yet anyway. I could be mistaken. Um, and it, I tested it out. It's kind of cool. So if I go to the deck builder, you this is a deck that I already made. This is a deck I made from an existing one I used in a tournament. Um, and I didn't win the tournament. The tournament kind of went on a bit too long because myself included couldn't exactly brawl a lot just because of load shedding, if you know what that is. Please comment down below so I know where my fellow South Africans are. But a lot of people couldn't participate in the tournament regularly enough, so we had to sort of cancel it. But I was in like the top four or six, I think, out of it all. I can't remember so long ago. Um, going into like the finals. Anyway, so this is what I made. This was purely before I had anything from Evolutions. So, oh, and I think I only had Geogun Rising at the time. Like this is just from Geogun Rising, not Evolutions. So, uh, let me actually go and let's make a new one. So when you come into the deck building, um, this is already loaded because I did this before. 
but when I came in here for the first time, this, this include all, wasn't selected. So the, you'll see what I'm seeing now, nothing on screen. If you click include all, it literally loads every single card minus these ones here that Omega, yeah, Omega, a Toxic Omega, I didn't want to say it wrong, that Toxic Omega started raining out of nowhere. I don't know if you can hear that. Let me just close the windows. Okay, that should be better. Okay, so as I was saying, um, obviously they haven't done everything. They're just one person, as far as I'm aware, doing this whole thing from scratch, which is amazing. So they haven't done every single thing. As you can see here by my mouse pointing, if my mouse isn't recording, I'm gonna be so upset. But yeah, Shields of Astroya, Secrets of Geogon, Geogon Rising, Evolutions 2, Legends, they don't have those cards here. That's perfectly fine for my circumstance because I didn't have access to this Bakugan or those cards anyway for a very long time. Uh, I still don't have access to a lot of these, um, if any. So, um, let's say we want to make... Um, let, me, let me pull up a deck I've made already. Okay, let's quickly go grab a picture of a deck I've already made because it's kind of hard to shuffle cards in my hand and work at the keyboard because I've got a very small desk at the same time. So, let's try and recreate this deck that I already have here. So, in this deck, I have three copies of Dark Water. So, in here, if I don't say include all, I just go Dark Water, it doesn't come up. I don't know why. But if I say include all, it includes all cards that have this text, by my understanding. Because here it says Dark Water Ambush, this is just Dark Waters. Makes sense, I suppose. I don't know why it's doing this. So, for some reason, it takes a little second to load up pictures. I don't know if that's just my Wi-Fi or if that's the case. But in here, we'll add three cards, well, three copies of this to my deck. I cannot add any more. I am clicking the Add button. It will not let me add any more. That's good. Awesome. Next, we got Aquify. I think I was Aquify. So let's check Aquify. Excuse me? Okay, there we go. Took a second. So I don't know, I'm pretty sure that's my Wi-Fi then. If a card is not loading up immediately, um, like that, or like I saw there on this big list, I think that's just the Wi-Fi or your internet connection. So I have three copies of that. Something I found interesting. If I go Mac, never mind. For some reason earlier, Mac's card wasn't loading for me at all. I had to type M-A and scroll to find it. There you can see on screen now. But earlier when I was typing Mac in full, it wasn't loading at all. I don't know if that was just my internet connection. Probably might be. Um, but I, let me see if I do for Dan. Okay, Dan was the same thing. It wouldn't show up when I typed Dan's full name, but I had to look for D-A and I found it after that. Interesting. Um, I actually want to check something. Earlier, I took some notes as to stuff I couldn't get to work. Uh, Max card and dance card is one of them. Oh, Geogon. I don't know why. Geogon didn't seem to work for me. So, um, in this deck, I've got what? What do I have in terms of Geogon? I have a Arachnia. So, okay, now it's loading for some reason. I don't know why. Now I look like an idiot. But yeah, earlier it just wasn't loading any Geogon cards. It was loading everything else except Geogon cards. So I am proven wrong. I'm the idiot. Um, but I'm curious if I go Geogon, include all, take that away. It doesn't show just Geogon. But if I say, if I include Pyrus all, no. Okay. Um, I don't know if that is just something that's not ready yet, or if I'm doing something wrong, I think I might be doing something wrong, but it looks like, oh, no, I'm the idiot. I have to fill in all three fields. Okay, so interesting. So if I want an Aquas hero card from Armor Alliance, I mean Armor Elite, it'll pull up those cards. Awesome, that's really cool. I was the idiot. I didn't do enough testing. My mistake. Anyway, let's actually make the rest of the deck.
Okay, while building this deck, I ran into a problem. I'm trying to fill my deck with two copies of Dark Daggers, and it's not coming up. D A R K D A. What do they have it as two words? Okay, they do have it as two words, but the card text has it as one. Um, I think that is just the card being the card, or the website being the website, or how this user, um, Toxic Omega, has set it up. Um, I still think what they've done is amazing, so I'm not going to grab about that. That's just something interesting that I found. So some cards, you might need to break up the words if it's a combination of more than one. Okay, there. So, let's get back to this. So I now have a full 40 card deck, as you can see over here with my cursor. I don't know if you can, if you can't, it's in the top right corner. And we get to make the deck name. So I'll just name this Showcase 2. Just Showcase 2. Save it. It saves to your browser's cache, as far as I'm aware. So if you close the website, completely close it, the, this website here, this link, it will not lose the decks you saved. You get to make 20 of them, and that's that. So I have saved it, made sure. Okay, so now we're gonna use the Showcase 2 deck that I just made with you guys. This one here, in a Brawl. So once you made your deck, you can go to Brawl, choose the deck you wanna use, in this case we're gonna go Showcase 2, and it already draws you a hand of five. And your three character cards here, we can't pick those. That is for you, you know, the person playing, to know what you're putting down. And cores, of course, you can't do cores because that's the physical aspect that you're gonna be rolling. This is purely just for cards as far as I can see. Again, also I'm very nearsighted considering I didn't understand half the stuff I was doing wrong. So if I'm incorrect, well then I'm incorrect. So, um, basically, in a, in, a, in a realistic way, how you would use this, you would make your deck, and you don't play with physical cards. You'll play with a physical three Bakugan, your six cores, and you use this as your deck. Makes sense? I hope it does. Because this is my hand currently. I have the Diamond Pinster Ultra, I have Aqua Plate, I have Ceased Outsiders, I have Ice Wall, I have Greater Water Boost, and Dark Waters. So, it's turn one. We know realistically, I can energize a card. Once you click on a card, you get a bunch of options to do. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Toxic Omega said that he hasn't restricted use of cards. So right now, I can discard this if I want. Even though no one's told me to discard a card because it, as far as I'm aware, the, the program, the website software thing that Toxic Omega has made, is to play under any circumstance. So turn one, the enemy might play a card that makes me discard a card, or makes me energize a card, or send to my deck, or reveal it, or whatever be the case. But in this case, I want to energize Cease Outsiders. So to energize this, you can energize charged or uncharged, because as we know, some card effects say to uncharge it, we're gonna make it charged. It gives us our energy count over here, which is pretty cool. Um, we've energized, and we're about to brawl, and let's say we both have rolled. We open our background on our cores, and my opponent has a higher B than me. I can then play Greater Water Boost, use. I have one energy available as it says here, but the cost of this is zero. So I will use it, it goes over there. This here is cards obviously in play. And then my enemy gets to play something, and so on and so forth like normal. Once that's done, we clear this. Sorry. We clear batch. My mistake. So our discard pile is over here. Now it's a new turn. We draw for turn. Yes, sorry. So we click here from our deck to either open a damage menu. Okay. We can search the deck for specific cards if we need be. Um, for example, if you play a card that lets you draw an evil card, there's a card that I'm thinking of, I just can't remember it. Future enemy will probably put a picture up on screen right now. You can reshuffle the deck, you can draw a card, reveal a card, energize the top card, discard the top card, whatever be case. So you just want to draw one card. We get Arachna. Awesome, that's actually really cool. 
So in this turn, I think what I'll end up having to do is, this is gonna be too expensive to play. I would energize this, charged, roll, same play as normal. Now, I just wanna show you what happens if I have a bunch of energies. Um, I just wanna, I wanna get a specific card out to show you guys what I saw. So all your hero cards from my remember will stack up here. Your um so when I see it, yeah, so you can make cards whatever cost you want, and it will go up here and use up your energies that you have available. Available, sorry. So your cards in play will stack up here, and then once obviously the battle is over and you've taken damage, um you will just kill the batch and new round has started. You'd have to manually keep clearing the batches. You'd have to manually recharge your energies and discard your energies. Um, you will have to take, whoops, you will have to take damage, of course. So flip a card. That is the top card of my deck. Next to flip. Can I play this? For argument's sake, yes. Interactive flip, use pay the cost to use it, and then we stop taking damage. This is a very, very good thing. Toxic Omega, I love it. I really do. I don't know how anyone else is gonna feel about it, but I definitely wanna use this, especially in the servers that I'm on, if I can convince them to use it, because we wanna use proxy cards, and this is the absolute perfect way to do it, because you can just play on your desk, like I'm doing now, and just use this as your deck. It's a win-win situation. I just don't know how it's gonna be able to rig it. Oh wait, um, one thing I forgot to show you. So if you want to look up a specific card that your enemy's using, to make sure they're not talking bull about what they're playing, because as you can see here, I can't see my enemy's hand or what they're playing. So like in Yu-Gi-Oh, in Master Duel, you would be able to see what your enemy's card text says. In this case, I can't. So if my enemy wants to play, whoops, my enemy wants to play a specific card, let's say it's uh, Dark Waters, just for argument's sake. Dark Waters, search, it's gonna pull that up, and I get to read it. Or I guess, add it to my hand in this case. Because I'm pretty sure draw from DB just means draw from database. And if you clear it, it pulls up absolutely everything. So I can scroll all the way through down to like, okay, I'm not touching a damn thing, it's just loading everything, but you get the idea. I'm pretty sure draw from DB just stands for draw from database and you get to look through pretty much everything to make sure you understand what the card text says and you and your opponent can come to a resolution as to what's happening in the duel. I mean, in the in the brawl. Sorry, I've been playing Master Duel and I've been got Yu-Gi-Oh stuck on the right. I hope this video was informative. It's very rushed, very unprofessional. Not normally like I want to do. The video is still going. I'm going to stop that. Stop. Stop. Thank you. Um, this video is very rushed, unprofessional, and I would normally have scripted this, but I was so excited about this. I just wanted to show it out and get it out to the world as soon as possible. So, sorry about that, but I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you guys will actually use this because I can see that Toxic Omega for what bare bones it is, went through a lot of efforts to get this to work. Even in the states it is in now, and I applaud that, I really do. So, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. Stay strong and battle on Battle Brothers. Bye-bye.